But I do feel that within sport, where you're talking about such marginal differences, that the fear of being outed or the fear of being open can limit some people in their performance. 100%. Yeah. Without doubt. If you can't be your whole self and you're, you're carrying a weight around with you, you know, you've got the, the pressure of day-to-day life, you've got the pressure of performing every day, and then this added weight, I think it would absolutely affect you. It's just those simple, those simple like daily questions yeah. or the conversations that happen around you all the time. Um, like when, when we first got into the, the team or you meet new people and they say, oh, you know, have you got a boyfriend? And you're just like, straight away, that question, or the fact that you're dreading that question coming just like is there constantly the old-fashioned assumption was you go into women's sport you're going to be a lesbian and it was never said in a positive way it was never you're going to be a lesbian (laughs) (laughs) it was always a negative thing (laughs) yeah and that's why i mean we you know we still struggle to to know how to identify ourselves because because i think part in part because of how the term lesbian has yeah. used in such a negative way, particularly in a sporting context. Yeah, she's another, you know, okay, it's gone to, the, you know, she's a lesbian now, because, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, then that that's another, you know, we need to reclaim that word and, and see it again as for what it is, a positive part of the community, of the LGBTQ plus community. I'm sort of hopeful that the young ones now, the ones who are sort of 10, 11, 12, 13, just starting their sporting experience, their sporting life, I just don't think they grow up with the same negative connotations. I don't think they care. You know, when I go into schools, I definitely, I definitely agree with you. I have my rainbow laces on or, you know, rainbow on my hockey stick. They they ask me about that and they want to talk to me about that. And I'm damn always blown away because I'm like, wow, I never would have asked a question like that when I was your age at school. And then I think, but then the people that are surrounded by, you know, what are their views and opinions and what, what impact does that have? But the, now the power of social media is another layer of, of people they can follow, get in touch with, talk to, yeah. listen to, share with. And I think that that's something we didn't have growing up. For yeah, sure. Or just female sport being on TV. As like, well, yeah. We, we remembered kind of watching the Olympics every four years or, or Wimbledon every year. And that was, that was the only time we really yeah. actually saw women playing sport. Mm. Um, and so, yes. And so it's not where it needs to be by any stretch, particularly now with, with COVID, it's actually gone backwards. Mm. But the, the more um, that women's sport is on TV, that just makes such a big difference um, because you do get to see diverse range of of people and and what they look like but yeah so there are a a huge amount of different role models and I think that that is really positive and Mm -hmm. that is playing um, a massive part in in this changing for sure yeah